This video is sponsored by Mova Globes. One of the most awaited celestial events of the year is approaching. And if you live in North America, you should not miss it. On April 8th, a total solar eclipse will sweep across the continent, marking the second of the four eclipses in 2024. The path of totality, where the moon completely covers the sun, will traverse North America, starting from Mexico and moving through the United States into Canada. The maximum duration of totality will be about 4 minutes and 28 seconds, twice that of the 2017 Great American Eclipse. While totality will be visible from 15 American states, a partial eclipse can be seen from all 48 contiguous American states with the next opportunity not arising until 2045. What's even more exciting this time is that during the total phase of the eclipse, there is a chance to see a comet returning after 71 years. Comet 12P Pons Brooks, also known as the Devil Comet, will be close to the Sun on April 8th. If the comet's brightness increases in the days leading up to the eclipse, it's going to be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see a comet when the moon completely covers the sun during the day. Besides the comet, you can even spot the brightest planets in the sky that will appear during the eclipse's total phase. On April 8th, while everyone's looking up in the sky and experiencing the alignment of the celestial bodies, you should know about five unforgettable things to experience around you during a total solar eclipse. So make sure you watch the video till the end. The solar eclipse promises a breathtaking light show. But after all that skyward gazing, you don't have to stop there. Picture having a piece of space right on your desk, a daily escape from the ordinary. That's the beauty of MOBA Globes, the sponsor of this video. Powered by ambient light and hidden magnets, they spin silently, transforming your home or workplace into a sanctuary of wonder. No cords, no batteries, just a mesmerizing display of science on your desk. With over 40 captivating designs, from world maps to iconic artworks, there's a MOVA globe to suit every taste. The Outer Space Collection features designs of planets, moons, asteroids, and constellations offering a slice of the universe right where you are. As a treat, I've arranged a special offer for the viewers of this channel. You'll get 10% off on 6-inch and 8.5-inch MOVA globes with code SOTU at MOVAGlobes.com. So check out the link in the description and bring the cosmos home. A total solar eclipse is divided into five main stages. The first contact, the second contact, the totality, the third contact, and the fourth contact. First contact marks the beginning of the partial phase of the eclipse. From an observer's perspective, it's the point at which the moon makes its first visible encroachment on the sun's disk. The eclipse officially starts at this moment, but the sun is only slightly obscured, so without proper solar viewing equipment, it might not be immediately noticeable. Make sure to put on your eclipse glasses or use solar filters to safely watch the partial eclipse as the moon gradually covers the sun's disk. The solar eclipse will begin at 1143 EDT or 1543 GMT. A partial eclipse will be visible from all 48 contiguous US states. You can use the solar eclipse timer app to know the exact timings of every phase of the eclipse, depending on your location. Between first contact and the onset of totality, you'll experience a series of captivating changes in the environment and the appearance of the sun and sky. As the moon continues to cover the sun after first contact, there's a noticeable decrease in daylight brightness. This darkening is gradual and subtle at first, becoming more evident as totality approaches. The quality of light becomes sharper, with contrasts more defined creating an eerie atmosphere. Shadows become sharper and the color of the sky slowly shifts, with the deep blue of daytime starting to darken long before totality occurs. An interesting phenomenon occurs with the shadows during the partial phase of the eclipse. Objects like tree leaves or colanders used to view the eclipse project crescent-shaped shadows on the ground. This happens because the gaps between the leaves or holes in the colander act like pinhole cameras 
each projecting an image of the partially obscured sun. Approximately 10 minutes before totality, the sun will appear as a thin crescent. This crescent becomes thinner and sharper as totality nears, providing a visual countdown to the moment of complete coverage. Minutes before totality, you should notice two mind-blowing things around you. The first is the temperature drop. A dip in temperature during a solar eclipse is one of its most palpable effects, felt physically by observers in the path of totality. As the moon covers more and more of the sun, the amount of solar energy reaching the Earth decreases, leading to a noticeable decrease in temperature. This drop can vary depending on geographic location, time of year, and local weather conditions, but reductions of 5 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit are common. The second is animal behavior. The approaching totality of a solar eclipse also impacts wildlife, with many animals displaying behavior typical of dusk or nightfall. As the environment darkens and cools, animals can become confused, thinking that twilight has arrived. Many birds begin to quiet down, and some may return to their nests. Nocturnal insects such as crickets and mosquitoes may become more active, thinking night has fallen. But don't take off your eclipse glasses yet. In the final few seconds before totality, some really cool stuff begins to happen. Observers are treated to two stunning and highly anticipated phenomena. The first is Bailey's beads. Named after Francis Bailey, who first explained the phenomenon in 1836, Bailey's beads occur just before and after totality. As the moon moves to cover the sun completely, the irregularities in the moon's edge, such as mountains, valleys, and craters, allow sunlight to peek through in some places, but not others. This results in the appearance of a string of bright spots around the lunar profile, creating a bead-like effect against the darkening sky. These beads are momentary. They diminish quickly as the moon continues its path across the sun, leading up to the moment of totality. The second is the diamond ring effect that occurs immediately after Belly's beads disappear, marking the last few seconds before totality. This phenomenon happens when only one bead of sunlight remains, shining brightly against the backdrop of the moon covering the sun. The contrast between the bright bead of light and the ring of the sun's corona visible around the moon resembles a diamond ring. The diamond shines with intense brilliance, while the ring represents the corona's glow, which is now becoming visible. This marks the arrival of the eclipse's most awe-inspiring phase, the totality. Totality is a phase when the moon completely covers the sun. There's only a small stripe of Earth where you can see that. This brief period plunges the day into an eerie twilight that reveals solar features not visible under normal circumstances. It's the only phase of the eclipse that you can see without any protective eyewear, as the moon entirely obscures the sun's bright photosphere. But make sure you have your eclipse timer app ready so that you put on your eclipse glasses before the moon moves across the sun's disk and Bailey's beads appear again on the opposite side. The most striking feature visible during totality is the sun's corona, the outer atmosphere, which appears as a pearly white crown with streamers extending outward. The corona is millions of degrees hotter than the surface of the sun, and it's only during totality that the corona can be observed with the naked eye. During all the other stages of the eclipse, make sure you have your eclipse glasses on. Keep an eye out for red and pinkish filaments or loops extending outwards from the sun's surface. These are prominences made of cooler, denser plasma than their surroundings. Since they last about a day or two, any prominence you observe will be unique to that moment. Another extraordinary aspect of totality is the 360-degree twilight. It's the appearance of a twilight glow along the horizon in all directions. This is caused by the shadow of the moon blocking the sun's light in the totality path, while areas outside this path still receive sunlight, creating a circular sunset effect around the viewer. The duration of the totality will depend on your location. The closer you are to the center line of the eclipse, the longer you can experience its total phase. According to GreatAmericanEclipse.com, the landfall of the eclipse will be Isla Socorro, 600 kilometers from the Mexican mainland. 
The total solar eclipse first touches the mainland near Mazatlan, Mexico. In the U.S., the path of totality will begin from Texas. It will cross the major cities of San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, and Fort Worth. Texas will draw numerous eclipse chasers due to its favorable weather conditions and extensive highway system, which are crucial for any last-minute relocation to areas with clear skies. The totality will then cross Hot Springs and Little Rock, Arkansas. Carbondale in Illinois will enjoy its second total solar eclipse just seven years after the 2017 eclipse. In the Midwest, key cities in the path of total eclipse are Indianapolis, Dayton, Toledo, Cleveland, and Akron. The metropolitan areas close to the path include St. Louis, Cincinnati, Detroit, and Pittsburgh. In the Northeast, Niagara Falls will be a favored location for many. Other cities in the path are Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, and Burlington. The totality path will pass through provinces of Ontario, Quebec, and then the maritime provinces of New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, and Labrador. According to timeanddate.com, about 652 million people, or 8.19% of the world's population, will be exposed to the eclipse, and around 44 million will be in the path of totality. As the sky darkens during the total solar eclipse, keep an eye out for the stars and planets that will pop into view during the short window. Jupiter will shine brightly to the left of the Sun, while Venus will be to the right. Closer to the horizon, you may catch a glimpse of Saturn and Mars positioned near each other. However, spotting them may prove challenging as they are much fainter than Jupiter and Venus. But apart from the regular stars and planets, we have a celestial visitor that might become visible during the totality. It's Comet 12P Pons Brooks, popularly known as the Devil Comet. The approaching comet is twice the size of Mount Everest and will become visible in the spring of 2024. Discovered in 1812, this comet completes an orbit around the Sun approximately every 71.2 years. Although the second half of April is not such a great time to see the comet in the evening sky, it might pop into view when the Moon completely covers the solar disk on April 8th. If it's bright enough, you'll see it between Jupiter and the Sun but closer to Jupiter. We'll be releasing a detailed video on how to spot Comet 12P Pons Brooks in the coming weeks, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified on time. The totality will be followed by the third contact. It's the moment when the Moon starts to move away from the Sun's disk, revealing the bright photosphere once again. The corona and any visible chromosphere or prominence is become obscured by the returning sunlight the environment begins to brighten, temperatures start to rise back to normal, and animals resume their daytime activities. The diamond ring effect may be observed again at this point, just after the last glimpse of the corona, signaling the end of the eclipse's most spectacular phase. Finally, the fourth contact marks the conclusion of the solar eclipse, when the moon's shadow completely leaves the sun's disk and no part of the moon obscures the sun anymore. The sudden return of daylight feels almost surreal. This momentary journey from day to night and back again leaves an unforgettable mark on your mind, a delicate reminder of the fragile beauty of our existence in the vast cosmos. So, happy eclipse watching and make sure to check out the link in the description for Mova Globes and bring a slice of cosmos to your home.